All right, bro, back once again. This time, we're looking at some blessings, because, uh, you know, like, this one we got a lot. This is the one I've been running, but some of these, we have, like, none, you feel me? Like, we literally have, like, none of these. So, we're gonna play some of these and try to get some good ones. We got dodge, the last one. Basically, max roll. I don't even care about what else is in here. If there's increased dodge, bro, I don't even know if I care. You feel me? It's whatever. I'm just gonna keep this, because it's max. Uh, This one's necrotic resistance, and I see increased necrotic damage. I don't know what other type of damage and stuff I could get, but this one might seem like one that could be cool this one same thing you know fire resistance the endurance if this one has endurance threshold that would be huge because right now i've made uh why was my dodge so high over there okay actually i don't know what happened because i was in a town area earlier and my dodge was at like 70 percent and my armor was at like 40 or something i don't know i thought that was actually what my shit was at but damn i guess not as far as like the most survivable setup i got my endurance threshold all the way to here you feel me i was trying to cap it out but i can't just cap it out yet you feel me like i'm like right there whenever i maximize it can't really get it full capped yet assuming you can it'd be shitty if you can't even do it the endurance is at 33 percent you feel me technically i could add this belt on and i'll get 58 percent but it'll drop to half so i don't know how i feel about that to be honest and then same thing with the boots like my dodge on my armor and stuff changes a little bit but this gives me all resistances speed blah 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 and anyway, i thought i was a little bit stronger than this but i guess i guess that was just like the tank or some shit but the one i'm wanting to go with is honestly i don't know i don't want to do any of the drop rate chances because that's irrelevant i was gonna do ending the storm but an issue is that my lightning is at 44 percent so i feel like i shouldn't try to do ending the storm and i've already done like the ones that kind of matter a tiny bit i could do this one to get some of this blah 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 i'm probably just gonna go do this i don't know what any of these are and that's the part that sucks like i don't know which one is the one that i need but i mean hey right now i have necrotic resistance my necrotic resistance is over cap so I don't technically need that, I guess. And then plus, it could be a lot higher anyways. My fire res is basically capped, so I mean, I could just keep that on. And then a lot of the rest of these don't matter that much. Like, this is drop chance, drop chance, drop chance. This one could be something good as well. I was gonna run this one first, because, like, look at this shit. Increase health regen by 100 plus 8 health regen. 54% increased cold damage. Like, what if I could get increased something for me? But I don't know what any of these mean. Plus, it's lightning. Like, I don't... So we're just gonna go do this one. Reign of Dragons. Have I even, like started on this okay so i haven't even started on this so we're just gonna just fucking start dude i might experiment with cutting like a lot of shit out like i probably you know last, last couple of videos last video or whatever you know i'd run through a monolith show like a good bit of it probably not gonna do that anymore if i find an item i'll show it when i complete the monolith i'll show it or the echo i meant shit like that all right so let's see if the survivability is actually like working ah oh, fuck First off, just killing shit, you feel me? Oh, okay, wait, I'm at 100 corruption. Let me just straight up push. Obviously, I'm gonna instant kill everything. I got boots on, they give me increased movement speed. I got shit on, that makes me goaded. Oh, wait, try to hit me, try to hit me, try to hit me. Look at that, we tank, we tank, bro. Do I have the 60% endurance? Yeah, I do. I bet you that's the reason why I tank so much. Oh, wait, this is the boss. Give me an arrow. Do that. Instant kill him. Look, bro, we just, just tank everything. It's only under corruption. <laughs> it's just gonna humble me. Once I get to, like, actual difficult corruption, like, I'm gonna start dying. Shit's gonna one-hit me. I'm not gonna do a lot of damage, bro. Like, it's always funny whenever you go to a new fucking monolith and that shit's only 100. Alright, wait, I swear to God, this is the same exact map. What's up, Jits? What's up, Jits? Oh, that was marked pretty fast. You know what? I'm actually just gonna speed run this shit, bro. Like, I don't even, as I fucking teleport into the wall. Like, I don't even care about, like, doing this shit. Like, killing mobs and shit, bro. Hold up. This guy, this guy is, like, actually, like, annoying. Watch this shit. Boom. Boom. We're just sit here. Throw this shit on him once I get it. There you go. Yeah, this guy's not playing, bro. This guy's tanky as shit, man. Gotta make sure he doesn't actually one hit me, bro. Just die. There you go. That guy was tanky, bro. Holy shit. <laughs> what the fuck? I was nothing like all these other bosses. I got the boots on too, don't I? Yeah, man. Like, wow. I got increased movement speed right here, increased movement speed right here. My shit's at 59, bro. 59%. That should be 59% increased damage. To be fair, it's increased damage and not more damage. Am I in another monolith, bro? Like, I'm actually going through these, like, pretty fast. Bro, the, like, I don't know if it's because I'm dodging everything or what, bro, but I'm just standing there just getting hit and I just don't care.
Bro, like, they need to stop making audio cues for shit that I don't have showing up, bro. What was the point of that? Made a sound cue for two exalts, and I couldn't pick either of them up. Also, every map is the same, dude. Like, this is the second time I've walked up here. Look, another exalt. Is it actually there? Look, bro. <laughs> like, oh, God. I gotta stop sending your killing shit, bro. Like, having too much fun. Another exalt that I can't see because it's not in my filter. Not happening. I think it feels like I definitely gotta scale my damage up more. Like, my damage is... Oh my god. My damage is, like, fine, I guess, but I want her to be better. Like, it's not good enough, you feel me? Maybe the mobs that I'm trying to kill just have good armor, good HP, or some shit. I don't know, bro. I, I just feel like I don't do enough damage, like, because I'm prioritizing damage, bro. That's, like, my whole idea. Like, from the start of this build, I was just going for pure damage. And it's, like, I'm starting to scale my defense and shit now, but it's, like, I, I don't know, bro. I feel like I should be doing more damage. I see too many builds just, like, instant killing shit, a high corruption. Like, I feel like I should be doing that. Oh, I just got two LP. Let's go. And then, uh, the rest of this, I don't care about. Ooh, 1 LP, I'll, I'll take that as well. 193 dodge rating, I'll take that as well, bro. Holy shit, what the fuck? What else is on it? Uh, I mean, actually, this is kind of cool, because, like, mine gives me dodge rating and damage over time, which I prefer. Yeah, I don't know. Plus, this one has 86% increased dodge rating, that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's go ahead and get ready to kill this guy. Boom. And then sit here at a distance a little bit. Throw the smoke bomb once I get it. Wish the cooldown was faster. Hit him with a little boom. Hit him with a little boom. What is he gonna do? What is he gonna do? Not happening. Nothing, bro. So I just don't do enough damage, bro. Like, is it just like a regular boss? Like, I look, dude. Look at how slow that shit's going up. And he fucking one hit me. I thought I could tank it. I still tried jumping out of the way last second, but I thought I could tank it. I mean, I guess it was dumb to think I could tank it, bro. My endurance isn't capped out, and my fucking armor is at 19. I just want to get my endurance up, bro. That's all I want. That's all I want, bro. Like, the fact that I just got one hit right there pisses me off. I don't get one hit right there. I got hit for 1,400. I'm gonna swap these boots back on so that I could get... All right, bro, hold up. I can fuck up. I'm gonna swallow these boots back on so I can get my resistance up. And then, like, this shit drops, so I don't care about that. And then so do these, but I don't care about that. My dodge is gonna go up by a good little bit. My reduced damage from crits is gonna go up a good little bit. And then we're also gonna replace that belt with this belt, which is gonna make my endurance way higher. Now, to be fair, it's only gonna be 33%, because I gotta work on that. And we're just gonna see how this feels. Do I, like, feel like I die less? I don't know, because this is the shit I wanna swap to. I want a better pair of these boots. I don't even like these boots. I just like them because the movement speed and the damage this bell is cool too but i need threshold i don't really need like endurance percentage i do now because i just swap that <sighs> just, wait i don't know how i feel about my fucking build bro like i guess it's cool like it's chill like i want to be able to run through a map and kill shit really fast like that's what i want to do i want to go through a map and just be like bop 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 and i know that there's like different marksmen that can do that the one i'm going for isn't the one that'd be able to do it but like <sighs> I don't know, bro. <sighs> another day, another echo. This is how far I've gotten so far, bro. Like, come on, bro. Look at the stability, man. Like, that shit's barely even anywhere. And it goes up slower the higher you get. Let's get used to just shooting the arrows instantly into the sky. Getting the dark quiver over and over again. Get right here. You know, let's shoot it right here. It's gonna kill all the motherfuckers. It's gonna run from over there. I gotta go back and get that real quick. I just tanked all that just to see if I could. Also, another thing about my build is I need to get my endurance threshold up because I'm running leech and shit. So the chances of me even being below the threshold is like very low because I just instant heal all my shit back. Killed that guy for an exalt that didn't even drop, bro. I'm so happy I sat there killing him. Other eggs. Oh, that's a unique. Thought that was gonna be an exalt. I will happily 143 dodge rating that's like really low isn't it oh no that's actually good it's good for a tier six. Oh, 17 percent void resistance is that the reason why this is marked bro that, that sounds sounds like a lot of resistance in a single idol bro Not oh wait i just ran past the boss all right so let's give me one of these going let's find out oh it's this guy they literally are just all the fucking same Wait, no, it's not. Wait, it was that guy, but there's another one over here, apparently. Like, none of these dudes are patrollers, apparently, but... Alright, 
I almost just died. A lot of lightning happening. Don't know, don't know how. Lightning is like my biggest. Oh yeah, this is them dudes. Lightning is like my biggest problem right now because my resistance is so low for lightning. I can tank everything else like fairly easy. I'll just let you do your thing, but I'm gonna kill you. Aren't Glyph of Envy is good? Like, I just now remembered that. I saw that in a YouTube video, and someone was talking about it, and I wanna say, like, it's supposed to be good for raising stability inside of Echoes, or inside of Monoliths, and I just remembered that that shit exists. How many do I have? Shit, I'll, I'll fucking take this. Yeah, see, look at that. Oh my god, both of these have nothing. And then Shatter for the lot. It just gave me one, like, great, great. Let me empty out my inventory. Alright, bro, so there's supposed to be these. Destabilizes an item, unpredictably changing all properties other than the affix being upgraded. The stability is siphoned to the most recent monolith timeline you entered, greatly increasing its stability. Okay, I have no idea what that means. My stability is right here, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab something that I don't care about. So like a two-handed weapon. Melee lightning damage? That's a tier 7 though. Alright, here we go. So we don't care about this whatsoever. It increases critical strike chance it's on a two-handed weapon it's only a tier six it's almost maxed out but who cares so apparently i should be able to just grab this wait wait, wait. let me let me make sure so my thing is right here right so like right after this right i should be able to take that put it in here clear this put this is this and then i guess fucking add something bro like all attributes siphon stability to reign of dragons okay 172 stability okay Wait, 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 so what if we upgrade like this? This is T4. 202 stability. Did that like, I don't even know. What about this? Increased stun chance, 157. Okay, we almost... When I, okay, there we go. Let's just do the boss, dude. Fuck it. I'm <laughs> like, what? Why have I never done that? Oh my god. I could probably push a single monolith, like, 50 to 100 corruption, like, right now in, like, 30 minutes to an hour. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Alright, so let's see how this shit goes. Oh yeah, I remember this fucking boss, bro. So I remember he just randomly does that shit. Like, that ass. So just randomly look at you and then just do some stupid shit. And just be ready for it. Like, fire is the main one. I look at that shit. He just looks at you and just randomly does it. No. That could have been very bad. I don't got any arrows laying around. That's unfortunate. Gotta make sure we dodge that. This has gotta be, I've said this before, bro, but this has gotta be like the easiest boss for me to fight. Maybe. Cause I mean, look at how fucking slow he moves around. Like all I gotta do is just stick behind him. Oh shit. Stop. I don't know, I don't know the map, dude. All right, how much damage gotta do? And just sitting here, you feel me? Look at how many stacks of fucking, what's it called I get? Fucking shred armor. Where is the arrow at, man? There we go. I was like, bro, what the fuck? Uh, that was scary for a second. Whoa, what the fuck? What am I taking? Am I getting hit by the guys? What the fuck? Oh, is it like the shit on the ground? Am I running into that? He's about to die. It's taking a fucking while, but he's about to die. And three, two, one, you're dead. All right, easy. Did I get anything that I need, though? Chances shred poison, don't need that. Increase poison damage, don't need that. Melee damage leeched his health. Wow, dude, I guess if I was a melee, that would be cool. 7% is crazy. And then 70% necrotic resistance. Oh my god. Wait, replace? Necrotic, yeah, confirm. Oh my god. That's like, I don't even have to put anything there, though. I'll just chill. Anything that I have that has fucking necrotic resistance can just get deleted. And I don't know if this is good. This looks pretty good. I don't know how good, but like, this looks, this looks like it'd be pretty fun. All right, um, I guess that was it. That was cool. So I could just go over here. Okay, okay, okay. Let me do like a couple more monoliths or a couple more echoes, I meant. Get to a gaze of Orbis and then um, try to do that boss like one or two more times using glyphs of envy and then hopefully kill Orbis in one attempt because if I ended up dying i'd be very pissed because then i would lose one of those and it would have been a huge waste corruption pushing on like the easiest fucking monolith bro do i got anything in this 
no. I could put something in it. Probably put it in this belt, bro. 160 dodge just on the belt by default. And then also increase movement speed. And if I just get really lucky, like insanely lucky, it could turn out to be really good. Because I don't care about any of this other stuff, really. Yeah, I don't care about any of this other stuff. So we're going to attempt to just replace that. Confirm. Yes. And then we're going to want power room because, I mean, I feel like we're fine. And it's the lightning one. Alright, that was really easy. <laughs> that was super easy. What the fuck? Alright, see if I can do this shit first try. <sighs> very, very easy. Yep, that was it. Super easy. And you're telling me I don't get no drops. I mean, I guess it was just like a beacon, like, fucking marking everything. But still, dude, come on, bro. What is it? Uh, uh, I could kill this as well, but I don't even want to try, dude. Like, I just don't feel like it. I will do this, because I have to. Three, two, one. Empower. All right, a little scary. He hit me for quite a lot right there whenever he meleeed me, but uh, not very, very easy. Come here, bro. Stop running. Stop running. Stop running. So I just don't understand, bro. Why? Why is it sometimes super easy like that? Awesome move, bro. Next echo. Not oh wait, the nemesis, I almost, <laughs> almost ran past this moment. Like, Alright bro, this is a very <laughs> annoying spot to try to kill him, but I want to say if I don't kill him, I don't think it matters, you just try again later. So, let's just try it bro, what do I got, 1 LP, 2 LP? <laughs> Please just die. Thank you. Holy shit, my game froze. I thought it was over. 2 LP, 1 LP. And I don't I don't think that is relevant to me. Like, okay, actually it might be because 7% increased HP. I don't actually need that because I don't want my HP to be that high. I want to be able to cap my thing. And I could just add endurance threshold to this instead of endurance percentage because I want to say I need that more. And then I could just add the endurance percentage on one of these because I think I have better rings. I don't know, we'll, we'll, we'll try to swap some shit out. Oh, this is it. Alright, what's up, gang? Uh, come right here for a second. Okay. Don't accidentally kill me. My endurance. Dude, it, it's actually insane. Once I get my endurance threshold capped out, I, like, won't take damage. <laughs> like, imagine every single hit I'm taking right now, minus, like, fucking, what's it called? Also, I'm gonna keep forging that. I'm gonna keep using that as a thing. I'm just gonna drop this. I right, remember what I was saying. This belt is only level 45. I could easily go do that, the uh, thingy to slam this. But the question is, do I have another belt that has what I'm looking for? Endurance percentage 25%. Like we, <laughs> it's like we don't need that at all. Like endurance 24%. All I need is exalted. I mean, I guess, I guess this belt. I mean, I, don't, I just don't want the 7% increased HP, bro. Like I don't need that. That's actually like that makes my build worse. And right now this has. Oh wait, this has the endurance threshold. But the problem <laughs> is if I fucking slam this and I don't get endurance threshold, which I probably won't. It's a one out of four. I this this fucking belt becomes useless. Also this. Is the belt that i'm running right now so if i have to swap this belt out my dodge will go up by a good little bit actually it might just be better because my endurance threshold goes down and shit but it's like i don't know bro i mean I, I gotta i gotta do shit like this to be able to progress you know what i mean so we're just gonna say fuck it and go try it if i could get the endurance threshold of 168 on here we can run this belt instead and if i run this belt with 168 endurance you feel me we'll go from we'll we'll have the increased dodge whilst also having the increased endurance threshold and then we'll just be like 100 away from from it after that all right bro another one exalted rings they take less damage who cares all right what do we got what do we got uh this could be good i guess i don't care about either of these two things i really gotta go do the arena bro i gotta go get me some arena boots get like a bunch of them and just constantly cycle them through the fucking nemesis bro Cause i don't even want any of this shit i'm just gonna banish them none of that's useful to me and i don't really have a unique right now that i gotta like get fucking up i gotta go get some uniques to get up Hearing exalted drop, bro. I'll I'll go back and look in a second. 
Whenever they don't have a blue bar, it's so much easier. All right, there's an XL right there that isn't on my thing. Oh, here we go. Please actually be good. Look at that. 15 dexterity to tier 7. Wow. These could maybe actually be good. What's the base? Oh, uh, never mind. These are like literally useless to me. I don't need ward decay threshold. So there's not even a point to put these on. <sighs> Oh, shit. Another tier 7. Increased healing effectiveness. Thank you, bro. And it's, like, one of the lowest rolls you could get. And then another dexterity. Like, I got a bunch of dexterity. And then I got this. This is actually pretty good. I mean, it's not that good, but if I'm running a poison class, I could run this on an all. I could probably also just use a period for a fat little minute on a poison class until I get, like, a better option. Ow. Well, dude. All right, bro, the whole teleporting backwards thing, like, I swear that's a bug, bro. I don't care if I click them, like, at the same time. I should just dash forward more. Why does it go backwards? I used to think it was because I, like, put my mouse outside of the map, but I was looking at a clip of me doing it one time, and my mouse was still in the map. It just teleported backwards for no reason. So I really don't understand why it does it. Give me an arrow, boom. Throw that there, throw that there. Kill all these motherfuckers in this group right here. Take all that. Why am I doing no damage? Do you see that? I'm hitting for like tens. There we go. Oh shit. Okay, I don't know why I wasn't killing him the first time. I'm starting to think there's like a certain amount of enemies you're allowed to hit with that shit, bro. Because there's no way that I was not hitting him at first. Oh, look at how much- look how fast he died. There's no way I was not hitting him at first. And then we got another Glyph of Envy. Very good. Tier 7, W. I'm actually gonna shatter all of this shit, bro. Fuck it. I haven't been picking up shatters. Maybe I should. A lot of, like, the really important shit I don't got on my loot filter for shattering. The shit you barely get. Like, okay, I got that. Detonating arrow. Please give me it. Alright, it's so whatever. Still give me it. Alright, and then put on a shatter. And we'll just fucking go crazy. Give me all those. I was about to say, bro. Boom. Boom. Uh, I guess that's it. So far, we're at this. You feel me? Um, I'm gonna keep going through here. You feel me? Just a little bit further. I could go to these, but... I'm gonna just keep going just a little bit further. And then after that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say I could go into some of the earlier echoes, pick ones that have easier like debuffs or whatever, whatever you wanna call them, like the increased damage and mobs take decreased damage, blah, blah, blah. I could maybe try to cycle those out to where I get a bunch of really easy ones to where I'm like guaranteed to not die on Orbis. Cause I really don't wanna die on accident, bro. If I die on Orbis, it's gonna suck. Cause I gotta do all that shit again. Like dying once in the Orbis fight makes this entire grind to the fucking stability worth nothing all right there goes another one like bro it's so easy man what is this increased damage over time like i don't what roll is it 141 like we, we just get better shit i probably have a bunch of damage over times so, like already on ones who cares let's go and shatter all of these you already know what's up put all that shit away and then just keep going bro just keep going Spawn me right underneath the fucking mage guy. Maybe that's a sign that I should fight it. Look at how much little damage I do when I don't use fucking dark arrows, dude. Holy shit. To Pearl Sanctum key as well, W. Alright, bro. Let's go and uh, fight you, I guess. Just please don't one hit me randomly, bro. That's all I ask. Where'd he go? Are you scared of me, bud? Why does he keep fucking running, bro? Just. Oh my god. This is the reason why I never fight him, dude. He's annoying as shit to fight. My god, bro. Thank you. Holy shit. He's so annoying to fight. Like, I fucking hate fighting him. Like, for my build, it's very annoying. For a lot of other builds, it's like, whatever, dude. But for my build, it's, it's very annoying to fight that guy. Oh, is this the boss? He's not even fucking marked. He's gotta be the boss, bro. Why would he... Why would he be this crazy? He's not the boss. Yeah, there you go. It's another little bug that they kind of got to fix. Like, sometimes it doesn't mark who you're supposed to be killing. I wonder how many times I've, like... Well, maybe it's not a bug. Maybe they want you to try to kill mobs so that it'll mark it. And, you know, if you if you manage to realize that it's the guy, and then, you know, go ahead and kill him. But until then, you just got to, like, wait for it to mark him. That makes sense. I'm just fucking... All right, I managed to clear out my entire inventory. Uh, we got one more to go. And then we got two Oribuses that I could potentially fight. So we're going to do this one echo, and then we're going to do some glyphs of despair or whatever they're called glyphs of envy or whatever and then we'll try to fight the boss again hopefully kill him in one attempt again and then fight orbis also hopefully killing him in one attempt which will then hopefully put my corruption like above like 150 or some shit and then shit could get a little fun i can just go from there I slay this inquisitor guy Okay, that guy got shredded. He had a blue health bar, and it's like that shit was not even existent. That was just very easy. 
Okay, so let's see, plus 7, plus 15, plus 12, plus 9, plus 16, plus 12. See, like, we like this one more, but we still gotta do that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open this, we're gonna put this motherfucker back in here, take this shit off, and then we're going to add this. It gives me 205 stability, still not enough. We're gonna add all attributes, actually, no, void damage. Actually, no, fire damage for the most. Boom, 209. Now we can fight this, so we're just gonna go do this again. And I think the reason why it's great is because I have to get 125 corruption, because like right here it's saying that i gotta be a harbinger a different timeline 125 whatever the fuck so i think i think that's the reason why i can't do it i gotta get this fucking timeline to 125 if i want to fight the harbinger Not how did i get hit i'm so glad that didn't do a lot of damage oh my god i don't even know how he hit me right there oh, i shouldn't shot my arrows oh shit i was standing inside that blue shit and i didn't notice I almost just died Okay, that was <laughs> dodging all that was a little scary. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. I had to get that. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> that was scary. Why is the whole map getting so covered in blue, bro? All right, I think we're good. I think we're good. I'm gonna make sure I don't stand in any blue shit on accident. Oh right, yeah, there you go. Easy. First try. Again. What type of shit did we get this time? Chance to poison on hit. See, like, that sounds cool. So, okay, what? 68% increased poison damage and it's only this much? Oh my god. Like, I already had the idea of running a poison build and now I want to run a poison build even more. Are you fucking sick? Ah, <gasps> critical strike avoidance. This is only 57%. This isn't even half the wheel. How is... I don't even understand this. What's the point of going above... Should I just get this? Like, 70% necrotic resistance is in one thing, but... If if I get this, I could put critical strike avoidance on like one piece of equipment and then I'll just have zero critical strike chance. Um, I'm just gonna keep this. This shit's almost a max roll. Keep current 70% necrotic resistance. You feel me? I, I want to say this purple bar is like how far up it is. So this shit could be even higher than this apparently. Confirm selection, bro. I want to get the crit avoidance, but I don't, I don't want it yet. Like I got to change my shit. You feel me? Uh, one LP on that. You feel me? And then, uh, no LP on this. Horns of, I don't even know. This shit looks like it's pretty good though i bet you that's like the boss drop dude i bet you just got a rare drop but it had no lp so it's like who cares all right so then you just go right back up here oh what's that two gazes of orbis so if i fight this and beat it first try i'll get 24 plus 16 which equals 40 plus 9 i'll get 49 that's it all right dude fuck it i mean if i if i die then i get even less i don't even get 49 you feel me that's the part that's crazy to me so i have to kill this in one try to get 49 if i don't kill it in one try then i get like 30 some and then if i don't kill it on that try then i only get like 20 like bro what i'm actually like kind of scared like i'm like slightly nervous pain, pain suffering misery <laughs> i'm gonna cry if he like instant kills me somehow Okay, I don't know this one. I try I tried to teleport out. I realized what he was doing last second. Wait, what? I just put arrows on him. I had no mana for so long. Okay, okay, okay. So inside, inside, and then outside. Easy. I don't know how to dodge these. I don't even... I think it shows it on the thing, what he's about to do. I might be able to kill him right here. Stop, 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 stop. Yeah, he's dead. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Don't do that shit. And then it's terrible. I don't care about... Oh my god. My heart. I thought I was gonna die. Even though I knew how to fucking dodge that shit, I started panicking. All right, so now we're just at 149 corruption. Like, that shit is so annoying. Now, on the bright side, I wanna say I'll run all this shit again, get to the very end, and hopefully Orbis by default will give me slightly more corruption now. Hopefully it won't just be plus four, plus whatever. And then on top of that, hopefully I get more bonus corruption whenever I do this. Because, I mean, come on, bro. It should give me more. I just fought this dude twice in a row, killed him first try both times, and then I fought Orbis, killed that motherfucker like a first try as well i feel like i deserve the next bonus to be pretty good we're gonna run a couple monos a couple echoes we're gonna see what difference i feel from 100 to 149 all right bro should be uh should be quite scary oh this is a fucking annoying map this is actually like 
This is tragic. Do the mobs actually get harder? Like, do different mobs spawn? Or is it just random? Because, like, these guys are, like, actually unironically diff- Like, di <laughs> these are more difficult mobs. Like, the ones that are throwing axes and shit, bro. Them motherfuckers are annoying. Alright, so then we just start this shit. And this- This one will be, like, way easier than, like, what it'll be later on. Because right now, it's the very first echo of the monolith. Like, it'll get a lot harder in a second. I feel like things are definitely dying slower. Like, I don't really know. All right, there we go. First ever echo complete. That was a double exalted. Ah, uh, is that a T7? It is a, that's almost a max roll. That is almost a max roll. Th like, dude, these dropped like this. What the fuck? There's nothing to even craft onto it. Like, you wanna know how I feel, bro? Watch this, hold up. This is this is what I do whenever I find some shit like this. So the only thing craftable on here is vitality. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clear this and I'm gonna put on, where is it? How do I only have nine of these? Holy shit, bro. Has a chance to steal an affix instead of upgrading. All right, so, ah, uh, imagine. Imagine I got that fucking chance, bro, and I got a plus four vitality at the bottom. Like, that would have been fucking awesome. And then a nemesis spawn, like, literally right here. Um, I mean, like, I'll get a quick silver. Like, fuck it, dude. Do I got, do I got anything <laughs> I want to upgrade? I might do this, because I might make a second account for Warlock. I already have another account, but it's only a level 20. I might level it. Yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna do this. So, put this bitch in here. Because the reason why I'm gonna do this is because I have this. This is the first ever 3 LP I've ever gotten i think i don't even know if i've ever gotten a 3 lp in this game before i've used this weapon before on a warlock build and it was so much fun i don't know if this is actually a good late game weapon but the spreading flames and all that shit the increased damage all that shit is so fun i'm gonna uh so i'm gonna put i'm gonna put this ring or this fucking i'm gonna put this thingy in here all right now we're gonna see if i can actually do this now this is only the first empowering so it shouldn't it shouldn't be like impossible you feel me like i should be able to do it Oh, I just took a lot of damage from something. Is the cold one one of the easier ones, bro? He feels really easy. That was that was super easy. I was expecting it to be more difficult. Okay, clear. Look at how much room was just taken up, bro. That shit's insane. And then you shatter. I'm gonna keep this. You feel me? I'm gonna keep doing that thing. And then we just go again. Uh, I'll just go this way, I guess. We're just gonna see how this way goes, and then I'll probably just do like one or two more, and then quit. Cause I mean, I've already this shit's already an hour long, bro. I don't know how long. Like, I don't want to make a video that's too long. Just gotta slay some enemies. You feel me? At the wall. You can tell I'm like. guy's a little scary feel me a little spooky not spooky enough though oh shit it's almost spooky enough it's not too bad like i almost died like twice already but i mean i haven't for sure i'm gonna kill like mobs here and then like he's gonna show up right yeah there you go literally called it like, it just i don't know <laughs> if it was meant to happen bro but it just like the room seems like a boss room bro. all right so this is the part where it's a little spooky man because like i'm not killing this guy that fast like, i'm supposed to be he's an echo boss bro i mean some of them are kind of tanky i guess but i feel like i'm supposed to be shredding this motherfucker bro and i'm not look at how much this is taking bro holy shit Jesus, bro. That actually took so long. Oh my god. Okay, that's like very bad. Like, I'm either gonna have to change my build over to something else, like poison, like I said, or there's gotta be a better way to scale because Hell of Arrows is not doing what it's supposed to be doing. I mean, maybe this is normal. Maybe this is like regular damage, bro, but like, this is not what I'm wanting. You feel me? Like, this shit's gotta be crazy. Also, I'm pretty sure this number is supposed to be higher anyways. I know the damage per second doesn't matter, but I swear that number is supposed to be higher than that. And I mean, I'm pretty sure I could scale some damage on here you know like we don't have any damage on here i don't have any damage added to this anymore i used to oh yeah this is this is the reason why i'm not doing as much damage bro it's because i changed all of this shit over for like survivability purposes like you got endurance threshold dexterity endurance threshold endurance threshold all this shit used to be like damage related it used to be like damage over time damage over time physical damage bow damage yada yada and now all of them are like optimal for not taking as much damage and i don't even know if i like that <laughs> because like i'm safer but i'm not gonna complete shit as fast so it's like i don't know all right i'm gonna run this one last monolith and then you know we're done i mean i really just wanted to do the boss see what it's like in corruption and see how high i could get by the looks of it i mean this is it i mean i could keep going but i mean it's just gonna become a thing of like like you see my time to kill bro and you see how often i like almost die now to be fair i'm not playing my my build that smart and i keep getting into situations where i can die but still bro 
Alright, what the fuck just happened? So I think I could just chill here. Just gonna get one of these going. You feel me? Boom. Took a lot of damage. My fault, my fault. Too easy. Very, very easy, bro. Just like she said, bro. Easy, too easy. And we open this rock. We get a bunch of glyphs. We open this chest and we get a tier. Oh, bro. I got so happy. I thought it was about to be like a tier three or some shit. Even though it's a shield. I don't even want the. Yeah, I don't even care about this, bro. I'm just gonna leave it there. All right, bro. Well, that's gonna be it for this. Because, I mean, I'm just gonna keep doing the same exact. Like, I could just get to higher corruption. Show that. You feel me? It's whatever. Let me know if this shit's too long. You feel me? Like, I don't know how long this video is. But if it's like really annoying, then like, let me. You know because i mean i could try to put shit in like 20 minutes or whatever unless this video is that long but i feel weird making a video that's like 40 minutes long bro didn't really i don't even think i got a single gear swap in this whole fucking video bro i don't think i did anything really i got the resistance up on the blessing where is it at bro right here almost a maxed out necrotic resistance i got that i think that's literally it i mean we got a couple hot items here and there but i don't think i've actually upgraded anything so yeah ggs i guess bro and i'm just gonna keep pushing monoliths i don't know if i'm gonna put Push this one i mean I, i'm just gonna keep pushing something because i'm gonna get like a lot of corruption and we'll just see where i get if i ever hit a wall bro we'll just hop on a different account and see where i can get on that one and we'll just keep going bro until i hit an account where i could just fuck shit up you feel me like if i if this isn't the account bro it'll be the next one you know what i mean